again. It's me, Brandon Bauman. I'm here to explain some grappling. Today I'll be discussing some basics such as such as submissions and um, different positions and um, di different takedowns. Now, here's one easy submission that you can do that will help you. It's called it's you sometimes in the in in the in the street you can you can just strangle someone with one hand but that won't work very good and um and it's illegal in the the UFC or some other places like Jiu Jitsu and some places that allow submissions. Um so a good arm bar hold choke that just allows the hand over the neck and then you pull the the your arm with your other hand, with your other hand and pull out uh, you pull um, down and out, down and in. Now, the next one is pretty much the same. Pretty much the same, except when you're doing this choke. Um, and you have the arm uh, look and you have the arm across the neck this one's called the rear naked choke and you and if you have this choke on somebody it's much more uh, powerful because it cuts off a person's um, uh, oxygen faster because what you're doing is cupping your one arm your uh, your other arm uh, that's has the arm um, with with the with the other arm and then holding and then pushing the head not only to control the head but to push the neck and to apply pressure. So you're not only pulling out uh, uh, and down, you know, or in and down, whichever one, uh, you're yeah, out and down, you're, you're, you're pushing on the neck. And you want to actually scoop the arm across the neck it's it's a it's a scoop motion because that's how the neck is aligned you you get a better extension of the arm now the next submission i want to go over is the the arm bar and what you do you want to have the the arm straight back uh, this can work from mount position if you're on a full mount. The mounts are full mount, side control, scarf hold, tur uh, scarf hold, and um, um, back mount, and um, north-south position. And, of course, open guard. Um, then there are guards, which are turtle guard, Z guard, and close guard, and then there are, is also butterfly guard, which works best, in my opinion, because 
you're using uh, your feet and your feet are on the inside and you, 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 you're using your legs to push out against the opponent's legs um, uh, uh, so they're unbalanced so you can quickly roll out no. Or you can transition from butterfly guard and push off and go into a submission like a Golga Plata. Or you can go for a submission like a um uh, an arm an arm bar, like a reverse arm bar. Um the the legs just have to be around the head and the neck and no the the neck and and one leg has to be around the neck and one leg has to be around the body and you have to pull uh at the um at the arm and you have to use your hips um, to do the submission, the the targeted area for the submission is the shoulder. You want to break the shoulder, or wait till the opponent taps out. Now, the best thing to do, um, if you want to do the submission, uh, is go to full mount, and then step up on on one on one on one foot so you looks like you're kneeling and then sort of um grab grab the one arm that's that's extended your opponent's arm that's extended and lift it up um then a, as you as you're kneeling you want to lay you want to lay down on him so you're in the mount position you want to lay down on uh, on on the side of him so your legs are um on on his position uh legs are on his uh, one leg is on his face or his neck or and the other leg is on his body so you want to pull at, at the um at the arm now the next technique is the the kimura, the kimura and the americana lock which are very simple what you want to do is grab the opponent's the opponent's wrist with one hand swoop the one arm under with the other hand with the other hand with the opponent's bicep area grab your own arm your your own wrist and either pull like and then then pull in and then and this is known as the the accordion technique and then you then you pull then you use leverage and then, and then you pull um, up. Um, if the if the opponent's elbow or your uh, if the opponent's elbow comes comes up, whichever position, then that is known as the as the as the Kimura. If the opponent is facing the other direction, like this. Then that is known as the Americana, and I might be wrong on that um, due to my, uh, due to my training. Um, but um, if you're another martial artist, and uh, I I get confused sometimes uh, on the on the names, but I do know that submission. So Kimura and Americana. Um, and uh, so if you have any questions just uh or references do that and you can also watch other more uh 
other videos on that. Um, next thing I want to uh, talk about are the uh, takedowns. There is the single leg takedown, the double leg takedown, um, the hip throw, and the uh, the 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 sweeps um, from the inside the leg and the outside the leg. And what you're doing from the inside the leg and the outside the leg, it's easiest just to fall with the opponent, like sweep. Sweep the leg, lock the leg in, and then fall with the opponent. Um, be careful because the opponent might use your momentum, so you want to roll with the opponent. Now for uh, single leg and double leg takedowns are really good, but with the single leg takedown, um, you need to like lock your arm, uh, grab... A, you want to wrap your arms around their leg and you want to press your head and neck it's all it's all basically you're using your whole body and your in your um neck muscles to do to do to do the trick you're not lifting the person up you're you're you know you're you're pushing forward and you what you do is you pull with your arms against their body and you use your neck to push at them and as you're pushing forward and you just um and usually it's inside inside the leg usually at the groin area um and then that's that's that that's how you do that one and um an easy way to do the um double leg takedown is just go for the um the calves and wrap your hand both hands around both both your opponent's calves and pull it and pull at them what you want to do is make sure that the opponent's calves are calves are together you want to sort of squeeze them together and then pull um that's pretty much it for today um if you have any questions just ask in the comment box uh, below on the youtube page um or you can send video links or uh, other references or you can uh, add some advice um this is my first martial arts vlog and stuff I'll probably be making more, and I'll probably be adding more fights to my videos, too. Alright, see you next time. Bye.